what I could do here to try and help you get a closer look at the Max Tuck holster from the White Hat Holster Company. Uh, we showed you this in the field. My, my dad was wearing it and uh, because of this I'm unable to, to uh, manipulate a holster or draw from concealment due to a broken wrist. Poor me, right? Anyway, I wanted you to get a closer look and I've got the camera on macro, macro so you can really see it up close and get a look at, at how this holster represents itself. You know, we talked about the clips, we talked about the polished Chicago screws, we uh, talked about the custom Kydex of which you can get uh, any different number. And it's kind of cool because this is an inside the waistband holster so you don't have to worry about, well, I need to be stealthy with this, I don't want it to pop out or people to see it, so I don't want the bright yellow Gadsden flag on uh, on my holster and it's not really gonna matter because your pants are gonna cover it and the only thing that's gonna be sticking out are, are, are the clips coming over the belt these clips are super sturdy and I showed you in the field but man they are just really really tight and they're held down with these they're called Chicago screws they actually sent me a couple extras with the holster for repairs or uh, if I needed anything like that and uh, then you can see on the back, the clips are very adjustable. Five different spots where you can adjust the depth and determine how you want it to fit. And I wanted you to see uh, a little bit more closely how the kel actually fits in here with it unloaded. And, uh, and I wanted to show you too. I've got the slide is open and you can see in there, there is no round. It is empty. So I'm gonna close it up so it fits, but I'm also gonna keep it pointed away from me okay so here here's how it goes in just simply and then it clicks there's a dimple right here in the kydex the trigger guard goes right around here but there's a dimple and that's what's going to retain it so if you need to adjust it you don't feel like it's tight enough that's the area that you're going to heat up and and adjust uh, however when when it curves and it contours to your body and this is horse hide I said in the other video it's cow hide this is horse hide I misspoke it's already very flexible uh, but if you wanted to add some some leather lotion or some leather conditioner to it to make it even softer you can do that 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 is possible so um, so the kydex is also adjustable thanks to that little spot right there and uh, though most of them are gonna come I'm gonna show you it's got a little bit of play see that right there but when you curve it and put tension on it it's it's tight see I'm having to try to move it there and it's it's not wanting to do it uh, they put their little logo on it let me take the Caltech out so I'm not pointing at myself point it away over there uh, they put their logo on the leather you can see it right there made in Texas maxtuck.com this is called the max tuck inside the waistband holster by White Hat Holster Company and you can go to either of those with the .com and, and find your way in. Uh, the cool thing about this holster too is they provide a great warranty with it and it has two parts. The first part is that you can try it after you buy it, try it for two weeks and if you don't like it, if you aren't 100% satisfied, then you can send it back to them, no questions asked. If you don't like it for any reason, they will take it back. The second thing is a lifetime warranty. So if you if this gets damaged or a clip breaks or the leather tears, or the, which would be most likely the Kydex would crack, even though they use a thicker Kydex than many use, if the Kydex cracked, they would just send you a replacement part. And it's really easy to, with these screws to take in and out. The other really cool thing about uh, about the Max Tuck holster is that this holster, this base, is designed to work with any gun. So you could take a Kydex mold with the same pattern that you can get from them for super cheap. It's like 20 bucks for a new mold. And you can carry a different gun. If you have a gun that you carry during the summer and you want to carry it in this with, let's say, let's say it's like, it's, it's a smaller 9mm like the Caltech PF9. Uh, you want to carry that during the summer so this is your summer Kydex. Or, uh, or during the winter, you know, you have heavier clothes on, you want to carry a 1911. You want to carry a 45, a Glock, or a, a, a you know, a full-size Springfield or something. Just get the different Kydex put it on with these screws and they've got these uh, these retention nuts on the back where it just basically clamps to the leather and it's not going anywhere and you have a whole new holster just by changing the kydex so you know you drop the money on the whole product to begin with and then and then uh, get a different kydex and for 20 bucks a pop you it's like you get a new holster for each gun that you have Anyway, uh, that's pretty much the scoop on this. I wanted you to be able to see it up close, how neat this is, and uh, the flexibility. Again, this is horse hide. You can also get cow hide, which is a little bit cheaper. You could get this, and I, and I wanted to get it this totally kind of gussied up so you could see uh, what they're capable of and what they provide. 
However, you could get it with regular tan or black cowhide, uh, non-polished screws, and a plain black Kydex, and save about 20 bucks. So if, you know, if overall cost from the beginning matters to you, if it's a big deal, then, uh, you know, then just get the lower end one. It's gonna perform and function the same way. It just might take a little bit longer to break in or, you know, get the comfort level way up there. I have an assistant today helping me model a new holster. And uh, I would be showing it to you, but due to a broken wrist, uh, I cannot holster, reholster, even put a holster on because my thumb's immobilized. So I've enlisted uh, Marty here from houseofarms.com. And uh, he's got a couple other names. His name's Marty, we call him Dad, uh, Daddy Warbucks. All kind of, yeah, well, that's, that's what the granddaughters call him. And so uh, anyway, he's volunteered to be here today and uh, help demonstrate a new holster. Now this holster uh, company is called White Hat Holsters. You can find them at whitehatholsters.com. And this is a tuckable inside the waistband holster. Uh, and this style is getting more and more popular, but these guys have a couple things unique to them. Uh, so let me just uh, let me just have uh, Marty here demonstrate exactly what I'm talking about. The the holster he's wearing at about five o'clock and uh, facing him as you are from the camera, uh, you cannot see it. In fact, why don't you take a step forward, just right there, and go out with your arms, and and you can see it doesn't look like he's got anything on. Okay, spin around a little bit, spin to your right, put your arms out so they can see this. Now the holster's right here, and it is actually, he, he's wearing a shirt untucked, which I'm making him uncomfortable. He doesn't normally do that. But this is just a really thin Nike dry fit style, like a golf shirt. He doesn't have any other undershirts on, trying to make it thicker. And uh, what he has tucked in here is my kel PF9. If you haven't seen the review for that, you'll want to check it out. But it's a lightweight, really thin profile nine millimeter, and it is tucked into this white hat holster here. Now I'm gonna tuck his shirt behind it and reveal a little bit to show you what we have. We have a standard cut. Uh, this is a, a cowhide with an antique cowboy style finish. That's the color and the finish of the leather. And then the Kydex here, and I'll show you up close in a minute, but the Kydex is actually designed to look like an American flag with the second amendment on it, which is cool. I mean, it's a neat thing. Uh, Dad's put his windbreaker on here and we're going to be able to have a look at what this looks like. Now this, you saw how good it was with just that black polo, but he's tucked it in now and uh, let me, we got to fix the color. We, we can't have that. There you go. Uh, but this is a little baggy and it, you, you could really get away with something a lot bigger, you know, like, like the Kimber or something like that. But even if I stretch this tight around right there, you can barely see that print. I mean, you can barely see it and that's with me pulling on it. So there it is, and I'm gonna lift it up, and he's got it, now it's a little more comfortable for him because he's got a shirt between his skin and the holster itself. And I'll also say this is his first time wearing it, and, and it has not been broken in. I got this after the wrist injury and I got the cast on, so even to try it on myself, I had to look like a fool and have my wife help me do it. Lift it up again, and draw, and it's right there. See how easy that is? And then reholstering isn't bad either uh, because it, that Kydex is going to retain its position, it holds its weight. Now I'm going to pull this out. This is Ebbs with House of Guns showing you the Max Tuck holster from White Hat Holsters. Happy shooting everybody.